Welcome to Let's Fix It Right. As highly destructive rodents, squirrels can be persistent pests who devour all of your bird food as shown in these two pictures. Consequently, this episode provides you a fail-safe solution for keeping squirrels off your bird feeder without harming them. My wife buys her expensive bird food at her local Wild Birds Unlimited store to attract these beautiful bluebirds. Nevertheless, within minutes of filling this feeder, a squirrel can easily sneak onto the feeder, chase the birds away, and quickly devour most of my wife's expensive bird food. Consequently, prior to me developing my proven approach in this video, the squirrels in our yard dictated that we frequently fill our feeders for them, and hopefully some leftover food would remain for our wild birds. Locally, we've had cases where squirrels penetrated attics, chewed electrical wires, and caused homes to burn to the ground. Consequently, it's not a good idea to attract squirrels into your yard by providing food supplies that they can easily exploit and eventually move into your attic. Several years ago, when my brother lived in Indiana, his neighbor had several massive trees in his front and backyards similar to these trees. Squirrels did a lot of damage to his home, so he routinely caught them in cages, took them into his garage, covered the cages with heavy-duty garbage bags, connected the bags to his car muffler, and killed these squirrels with carbon monoxide poison. Eventually, this neighbor moved due to the squirrels. This is not a practice I endorse. I'm sure that most of you don't agree with this either. When I was younger, I hunted squirrels, rabbits, ducks, and other small game with my older brothers and friends who had several small caliber rifles and shotguns. Soon thereafter, I graduated from college at West Point, earned a ranger tab, and served as an infantry officer where I was exposed to weapons that were much more lethal than the guns of my teenage years. However, over the years, I've grown to believe that you only should take mother nature's animals if you're going to eat them. Fishing, duck hunting, deer hunting are all okay to me as long as you and your family eat the fish and game. However, I don't believe in killing animals for the sake of killing them like my brother's neighbor did. With this said, I developed this important video. As you can see from here on our patio that it's early spring and my wife's flowers are starting to grow. She installed two bird feeders here in our rear flower berm near our water fountain in addition, she set up two more feeders here where she can easily watch the bluebirds come and go from inside our master bedroom bay window. Step one to implement my proven approach for keeping squirrels away from your bird food is to purchase a metal bird feeder shepherd's hook or a metal bird feeder hanging device similar to these two. The items that you'll need for this effort are as follows. Vaseline petroleum jelly, paper towels, and Windex or an equivalent cleaner. Step two is to thoroughly clean all of the upright, curved surfaces and horizontal members of your shepherd's hook or hanging device with Windex and paper towels. It's very important to remove all of the dirt and grime from these surfaces so the squirrels will not have any gripping or friction points to climb up and down these poles. Next, every two or three weeks, apply generous amounts of Vaseline over the entire hook and structure from top to bottom. This will effectively prevent squirrels from climbing up and down the pole to get to your bird food. Also, it's important that you thoroughly cover the upper surfaces with Vaseline. This prevents the squirrel from hanging from his rear feet and reaching down with his mouth to eat the bird food. We'll also apply Vaseline to this pole. It's important that you hang your bird food container from a metal hook or structure. In most cases, wooden hooks or structures will not work because Vaseline cannot effectively lubricate a wooden surface so a squirrel cannot climb up and down on it. In addition, every two to three weeks, I strongly recommend that you remove your old Vaseline and replace it with a new coat. I found that over time that birds will scatter food from the feeder and some of it will stick in the Vaseline. As this accumulates, it will provide squirrels footings and grips on the pole that will enable them to once again make their climbs to your bird food. 
Wind-blown dust, leaves, and other particles will also stick to the Vaseline and provide footing friction for the squirrels. On several occasions, I've noticed squirrels on the ground licking and trying to remove my Vaseline from their paws after failing to climb up our bird feeder poles. If you don't have a good supply of Vaseline or you're interested in purchasing a metal bird feeder shepherd hook or hanger similar to mine, you can purchase these items by using one of the links below. To access these links, go to the description below and select Show More. This concludes this episode that provides you a fail-safe solution for keeping squirrels off your bird feeder without harming them and ensuring your expensive bird food is available for your colorful wild birds. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and select the YouTube bell so YouTube will notify you of all my new projects immediately after I publish them. At this time, I'm moving on to my next project. You're more than welcome to follow. In addition, if you have a great project that you want to post on my YouTube channel, email me some pictures and a brief description of it. If it qualifies for the Let's Fix It Right standards to help others, I'll interview you over the phone as a guest do-it-yourselfer, produce a high-quality video, and post it on my Let's Fix It Right channel. For the year following this posting, I'll share 50% of the potential YouTube benefits with you. If you have any subject matter requests or recommendations, please contact me. All of this said, I recommend that you subscribe to my channel, follow my projects, and save a bundle of money doing it.